The most important thing that I'll say all video is don't damage the shoe while performing the shoe care. Today I'll be working on my Amaretto Shell Cordobin wingtip boots from Carmina Shoemaker and I'll be using a variety of tools. Though the ebony stick shown here from Brift H is the one that I prefer to use. The process that we'll go through here in a moment is also the same process that you would follow or that I would recommend you follow no matter which tool you use. Just like anything else, it's shell cordobin, so you wanna start with brushing. Apply a thin layer of a product Today I'll use a cleaner conditioner from Pure Polish. Once that's soaked in, that's when you would begin using the sleeking tool and then obviously finish with brushing. I'll touch on a few tips throughout the video, although the primary content is really the visual demonstration of how I use the ebony stick and brush and kind of perform the process. You always want to start by brushing. This prepares the leather to accept the nutrients, making it more receptive to any additional care that you provide. Here I'm using some Pure Polish Products Cleaner Conditioner. I'm trying to stretch the instep just a touch, so the conditioner is going to help soften the shell a little bit for that, but it also works perfect for using the ebony stick. The rule of thumb is you definitely want to have trees in the boots at all times when you're using a tool like this. There are very limited reasons why you'd ever want to do this without a tree. None of them apply for the normal use cases, so I'll save those for another time. Always start with the lightest pressure and gradually build up to a firmer pressure if needed. It's always easier to uh, use a firmer hand than it is to try and remove a dent that you made because you started with too much pressure. As I'm working on the boots thinking, well, how do I know when I'm done? There's no right or wrong answer. You can stop whenever you reach the desired result that you're looking for. You'll notice they're not perfectly smooth and that's perfectly okay. I only wanted to get rid of the larger rolls while I have them sitting on the larger trees to keep the pressure equally applied throughout the boot. Here's what I'm using today. The Soji Works brushes, the Pure Polish products, and the Ebony Stick. I'll have the links down below if you're interested, although I have no affiliation with any. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate those that have stuck around. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, I am happy to answer any questions. Hope everyone has a good one. Thanks again.